Google is gearing up for its big event in San Francisco Tuesday, where it is expected to announce a bunch of new products. And the star of the show is rumored to be the company's flagship Android phone, Google Pixel. CNET editor Brian Tong left the comforts of San Francisco. <laughs> he is in the mean streets of New York now. I'm a survivor in CBSN right now. It's great. Studio. <laughs> Good to see you in Good person, to, I know, by in the, the way. flesh. No, it's great to see you too, Christine. I know. It's nice to know you're not a robot. Yeah, you know. I'm a real deal. <laughs> so tell me about this, um, this new um, Android phone, the first from Google, right? Yeah, they're trying to position this as the first phone that they are kind of controlling from start to finish mm -hmm. because a lot of times they have worked with uh, other third-party manufacturers like mm -hmm. LG, um, Huawei to build their phone. This one, though, it is being built by HTC, so that's still staying along those lines. But what Google has really tried to focus is kind of be like an iPhone, like control the software and hardware and really call this like a standalone Google phone. They're getting rid of the Nexus name. And uh, the phone, you know, based on the leaks, kind of actually looks a lot like, like an iPhone if you really look at it. Yeah, it doesn't but it look much different, does yeah, it? Yeah, but are it will come in two different sizes. Are people excited about this? Well, I think that people that love a pure Android experience are, you know, you really have three, the top two phones that everyone talks about mostly are iPhone and then Samsung's S7 Edge or, you know, their Note 7. Mm -hmm. the, the, the Pixel phone will be a pure Android. And those are kind of like the diehard Android fans. So um, I, I use an iPhone and an Android phone, so I'm actually excited about this one. And what about the apps? I mean, are they going to really make a push for their, for their own apps on this? Well, one of the things that they've started to do before this um, announcement was release like a Google's Allo, which is their new messaging app, mm -hmm. and also Google Duo, which is kind of their equivalent of you know video conferencing, and that's really deeply integrated into this. So those are some of the things that they're trying to do. It'll still have a fingerprint sensor, uh, you know, for payments and also to unlock the phone. But we. We know a lot, but we always want to see maybe there's some new like hooks that they bring to the table when they announce this. So we will wait and see. But uh, a lot of it has already been leaked out. <laughs> oh boy! Just use this thing That's called never the internet. Before. <laughs> yeah, this thing called the internet will yeah. tell you how. And it has a tendency to do that. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned about the the Pixel, the phone's pixels. Is, is it going to rival the iPhone? Well, it'll have a 1080p display, mm -hmm. um, and then the larger screen is supposed to have a quad AC display. That's typical of what we've seen in a lot of large screen phones. So uh, Apple's screen is still using LCD technology. Um, it is was recently like reviewed as the best LCD screen. Samsung typically is known as the best OLED screen. So we'll just find out. I think for the most part, though, you're not going to see anything drastically different. Mm -hmm. I don't think you're going to be blown away by it, but you also won't think it's not a good screen. All right.